Welcome back, friends. Today, I'm going to show you how to quickly make a clipping mask. So I'm starting off with this tiger's head. And I'm going to be using this, but I need to make the outline a little bit thicker. So I'm going to go to edit. And because this is a graphic, we are getting this blue message up here saying that using the photo editor will turn my graphic into an image, which is exactly what we want. We actually need an image. But I'm going to come down here to shadows because I want to make the outside border a little bit thicker because I really, really need that border. So I'm going to go to outline and I'm going to just um, reduce the size of that outline so that it's thicker, but I'm still retaining the uh, outline detail of the tiger's face. So I think that's fine just there at five. And I'll go back. I now need a background and it could be any background whatsoever. If you happen to have the background that you need to use, you can use that as well. So I'll just go into my element search bar and I'll search for example, a red background. And I'll go into photos. It does need to be an image. So I'll use this one right here and I'll put that there. And then I'll grab my tiger and I'll just move that to the side so I can see them side by side. I'm now going to go to my app section and we're going to use an app called Image Cutout. This is what it looks like right here. I'm going to select it and I'm going to open it up. Now I'm going to select my background here and I'm just going to go back and just say you selected image. So there's my background selected. I'm now going to select my image and down here, I'm going to select to use an image for my cutout type. And I'll say use selected image. So here it is right here. I'm just going to put it in the center and I'll leave it there. I'll come down to the purple button and say add to design. So here is my cutout. I'm just going to add another page or duplicate it. And I'm just going to get rid of that background. And here is my image right here on the side. I'm just going to leave that there for a second. I'm going to grab this image and make it just a little bit bigger. And now I'm going to go into background remover and I'm going to remove the background. Now don't panic. Um, it doesn't matter that it removed the whole background, but we're going to go back into BG Remover and we're actually just going to restore everything. Now, there is a reason to this madness, so don't go just yet. I'm going to restore every single thing. And now I'm going to use the eraser tool to erase everything in the center but leave the outline, if that makes sense. And you just have to go slowly but it's fairly easy. All right, I'm just going to close it and now go back. Now that I have my overlay, I can put anything behind it. I can place photos behind it. I can place a background behind it. I can even just make the background a different color and then uh, resize the overlay on top of it. But I'm going to take this one step further. And at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you which one you prefer better. So I've got my overlay here and I'm going to place a rectangle on my workspace. In this rectangle, I'm actually going to change the color to a gradient. Now you can use, you don't have to use a shape. You can use a background just as I said earlier, but I'm going to create a custom 
gradient color from one of these. So I'll grab this one right here and then I'll come up here and I'll just press the plus sign and I'm going to add a couple of colors. I'm going to add red and I'll add another red. I'll add another color and for this color I'm going to make it black and I'll add another black as well. Now I'm going to move these colors around slightly and I'm going to get rid of the white. I'm going to close this panel and I'm going to take this shape. I'm going to go to position and layers and I'm going to take that shape and move it behind that overlay. So here that shape is right now. I'm going to grab the tiger's face and I'm going to move it on top of that overlay. And I'm just going to bring it over here. Now you will remember that I did add an outline to this tiger at the beginning. So I'm going to go back and I'm actually going to remove it. So I'm going to go back into shadows. There's the outline. I'm just going to say none and put it back to normal. I'm going to make it larger just to fit over that overlay like that. Now I'm going to grab everything on my workspace. I'm going to make it a little bit larger. Now we can download this the way it is, but if you want a transparent background, then what we'll do is we're going to take that top overlay that's red, the red background. We're going to go to edit and we're going to go back to dual tone and we're going to use the custom feature to change both the highlights and the shadows to white. Now this isn't transparent yet. If I change the color of the background to gray, we're going to notice this white box, which is the overlay. So what we're going to do is we're going to download this design on a white background. So I'm going to come to share, download, and, and I'm going to only download page two. I'll add another page. Once that's finished downloading, I'm going to bring it back into my Canva. And again, it still has that white overlay on top of it, but we're going to get rid of it by going to BG Remover. And now it's totally gone, which means we can place any background we want in there. So if I want to make the background orange, I can make it orange or I can even place this on another background. So here is my question for you. I'm just going to remove that background. Which one do you prefer better? Do you prefer this design or do you just prefer the overlay with nothing behind it? Let me know what you think. If you learned anything in this tutorial, press the like button, subscribe, and turn your notification bells on. And if you want to learn more about my live classes, ask me in the comments and I'll tell you all about them. For now, my friends, I'm going to say bye-bye. Until next time.